to make a prideful minister is to make someone who's gonna stand high and look and judge those below. To make a prideful minister is to make God into a lion. I know my Bible says that he is not the son of mine, that he should lie and to repent. So when he makes a prideful minister, we gotta step up and say, hold on now. Because what we have to understand is a thin line between confidence and pride. Come on. Confidence will help, but pride will take. Come confidence on. will teach, but pride will neglect. Come on, you're good. Okay, okay, I feel, I feel this right now. And the problem of the church today is that we have so many self-righteous believers clinging onto a service title such as a minister for self-recognition and spotlight. But see here in verse 8, and verse 8, I still love this verse right now. Unto me, who I am the less and the least of all the saints, is, is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Paul acknowledges that it was unto him who is the least of all the saints. Because if we know the story of Paul, he was once a murderer. If we know, so he was going to the church and he was murdering, he wasn't caring if he was saved or not. If you want the Holy Ghost, buddy, by Lord, he was dying. But through the conversion from Saul to Paul, he had a new understanding of what his purpose in life was. Yes, he could be a man of law, but which law would you was he operating under? He had to understand that the law that he was under, operating under was to kill. But this law of Jesus Christ is to fulfill it to edify that which he had assigned him to do. But, so, this was one of the strongest stands of a ready made minister that anyone can take. Understand this, that acknowledgement and recognition isn't weak, but strength. Get this, in the Bible it says, where two or three are gathered together and one accord for his name's sake, he is in the midst. As the revelation that the Holy Spirit gave me, he said to me that that doesn't only mean a physical unity, no. but one of a spiritual aspect as well. To acknowledgement of other ministers with their titles beside, being not only just being proper protocol, but get them connected with you with the spirit to bring forth a greater result. As I close, I wish to leave with you a prophetic encouragement in this hour mm -hmm. to never forget the assignment on your life. Mm -hmm. You were made to declare the goodness of God, mm -hmm. even, if, even if it's through speech, through dance, through singing, whatever it may be, you, you have been equipped and you have been anointed for this next season in your life. You were made to teach some demons some things about God. You were made to declare <laughs> to every high thing that it is coming down in Jesus' name. You were made to declare victory over regions. You were made to fulfill in which God has given unto you. You were made to go through to bring someone else out through like my sister, um, my wife. My um, dad's been saying that. My dad said, you were made to be a stewardess to be those who are going to bring the next generation of believers. You are made for this moment. So in Jesus' name, amen.